Hi everyone. So uh, thank you for posting your outlines. You can see now that I've left you um, feedback. Uh, I have a couple of just common notes, things that I've noticed about uh, many of the outlines, feedback that I was leaving that I noticed I was offering to a lot of students um, in this particular section. And sorry, bear with me. Um, my, I'm a little bit sick, uh, so my voice is kind of hoarse. So a couple things to keep in mind. Uh, you want to make sure that your thesis, whether you're agreeing or disagreeing or a little bit of both, is extending the argument or is adding to the conversation. In other words, your thesis should be including some of your own ideas as well. Now that might be something like a reason, that might be something like a ramification or additional examples, but you need to extend the argument. If you're not sure what I mean there, you want to go back to the video from last week's modules about how to agree or disagree or do both simultaneously while also adding something to the discussion. There's some templates there from our optional course textbook that I think will really help you. You can try using those templates and you'll see that they elevate your thesis and make it much more sophisticated. So instead of just parroting something back or repackaging it, you're actually adding to the conversation. So please make sure you take a look at that video from last week week. You also want to make sure that your response is responding directly to a point that's made in the article. Um, you don't want to be um, focusing on an idea that's not quite addressed in the article, right? So for example, a couple of you are responding to the David Brooks article about um, what to major in in the era of AI. Uh, his argument is that we should really double down on distinguishing ourselves from, um, from robots, from artificial intelligence, and focus on things like presentation skills, humanity, connecting with other people, uh, finding our own voice, things that at this point um, AI can't do as well. So that's really a debatable argument. You might be agreeing or disagreeing or a little bit of both. But um, if that's the case, you want to avoid just talking about AI in general, right? His essay is not about AI in general. It's really specific to what to major in in the era of AI or um, art that's generated by um, algorithms versus art that's created by a human. I know we did that in the discussion board, but you would need to bring that back to responding to what Brooks is saying in this specific article. Now, it's totally fine to focus on a specific section of the article, right? In fact, I even read recommend uh, that you focus on responding to a particular part, especially if you're responding to a very long article. But it should be clear in your essay that you still understand what the overall argument is, right? This is especially important in, say, the Charles Murray essay, uh, in which he argues that most people don't need to go to college and for all sorts of reasons. Make sure his overall argument, make sure I still can tell that you know his overall argument, even if you're focusing on a smaller part of it, like a brick and mortar, camp mortar campus being no longer relevant or something like that, right? Or vocational training being more important or less important. Um, I also want to make sure that you're providing your own specific examples, right? Uh, I need to get a sense of who you are and your interests and why you're here and uh, your philosophy. I need to get a sense of your voice too, right? Um, and one of the ways that you do that is by giving me concrete, specific examples that are different from other students, right? Even if you have a similar argument to other students, the examples that you bring in should be different because you have different life experiences. So I want to mention a couple of you um, by name. Um, I noticed that um, Sean had a really interesting example that I would like him to develop further, an example from work right? Uh, a lot of you might work or have experience in the workforce, so you might have some sort of concrete example that you can really explore uh, to help prove your point about whatever article you're responding to. Um, Jackie had the example of um, her dad um, having a successful career. I'd like more about that, right? I'd like more details. Uh, when in doubt, give me more specifics as long as they connect back to your overall thesis. Um, Leo is giving some examples of people who have excelled in their careers, um, even without college degrees. A lot of people will be giving examples like that. Try to think of examples that other students will be using and do something maybe a little bit different. Um, on this essay, a lot of people, I don't think actually um, any of the students I just mentioned, but um, a lot of students will talk about sort of the, the obvious examples, right? Um, like Steve Jobs uh, dropping out of college or something like that. Make sure you include some examples that aren't so obvious. 
obvious, right? That haven't been mentioned many times before. And they can be specific, they can be personal, they can be hypothetical. Uh, but you want to make your voice um, show, right? We don't want to have a generic vanilla essay uh, that could have been written um, by ChatGPT. Um, please let me know if you have any questions. Just one more reminder, you do have to have the three quotations from the article somewhere in your essay. Most of you will probably have those in your body paragraphs. Uh, and you do need to interpret those quotations, right? You need to explain them, contextualize them, explain what the writer is saying, and then respond them. But of course, you're adding in your own specific examples as well. If you leave me a comment under where I gave you a comment for your outline, I probably won't see that. I don't get any sort of notification from Canvas. So if you have a question about the feedback that I've given you, either come to office hours or send me a message in the inbox directly. Otherwise, um, I might not see it. Okay, I'll talk to you soon.